<laughs> um, and be able to, to Skype her in or to FaceTime her in. Um, but I'm excited. It's going to be so fun. So Sophia, whenever you are in, give us a comment down below and I can get you right inside. But guys, I am so excited for this. Um, it's going to be so fun. Uh, like I mentioned, I love Sophia. Uh, last time we were together, we actually made her play like a smell guessing game where we had a bunch of kitchen supplies and it was honestly hilarious and she was amazing at it, which makes me feel like she's a really great cook. So I feel like she's doing a lot of cooking during quarantine. Sophia is here. Yay. Hi, beautiful. Okay, here we go. IG live works for us this time. I love you, Sophia. Who else loves Sophia? I mean, come on. How can you not? Hi. You just made me laugh so much because I'm the worst cook of all time and I cannot cook. I don't know why you're we kidding. That game. It makes no sense in the world. <laughs> Wait, that is hilarious. Okay, guys, I was telling you, last time I saw Sophia, we were playing a game where she was blindfolded and I had all of these crazy things to play with her. We, we made you smell garlic, olives, but you got it right the first try. To be honest, I don't know why. I was like, I'm gonna be so bad at this. I can't cook for the life of me. Like the one thing I learned during quarantine was I know how to hard boil eggs. And I said this during a live and somebody was like, that doesn't require much, but like hot water. And I was like, thanks, but like, it's a, it's a big one for me. Wait, Sophia, that's hilarious because I did the same thing. I just learned like how to make pasta, which I'm embarrassed oh. to admit, but like, Whoa. That's which is I don't know how to do that. It's like, it's the same. It's like boiling water and you just put things in there, but like, it's so scary to me for some it's reason. It's really scary and hard boiled, I mean, hard boiled water. Boiling water <laughs> is scary Hard boiled water, hard boiled eggs, they're all, anything hard boiled is too scary for us. How are um, you, Em? It's good to see you. It's so good to see you. I'm good, I'm hanging in there. So I'm over in Brooklyn right now. Um, okay. And so we've been nice and safe and I have my two roommates here, so we've had a good time. Um, right. But how are you? You're in LA, right? I'm in LA. I'm in LA. I'm also safe. I'm with my sister and our dog, Joey, uh, which has Aww. been such a blessing. And it's, you know, in the midst of it all, I think we've all been able to really have just time with our loved ones, if you know, if we're lucky enough to be with them. Um, so, you know, we can't complain. We're healthy and we're safe. We're far from our family, which is hard, but they're yeah. also safe and healthy. So, um, you know, we're, we're very grateful. Because your family's in Columbia, right? Your extended family? They are in Miami. My mom and dad oh, are Miami. in Miami. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So they're now, East Coast with you. Yeah, okay. Now, for all of your free time right now, how are you spending it? How are you staying creative? What are you doing? Um, I've been quite busy with work, which is really great. You know, I've been kind of doing like a virtual radio tour per se. Um, I would have been an actual radio tour, but you know, as technology has it so beautiful that we can still do this. Mm -hmm. um, and I've also been spending a lot of time, you know, when this all happened and we went into quarantine, I just wanted to know what I could do to give back. So um, I launched a campaign with UNICEF called Spread Hope with Sophia. And the campaign is inspired in the hope that we saw in the world. And it's been so beautiful to see people's generosity and their response and how they're spreading hope and maybe giving donations as well. But it's been really beautiful. And uh, the link is unicefusa.org slash spread hope. Um, and apart from that, I uh, have been working on music as well. I've been reading a lot. A friend of mine, oh. um, and her and I, we like text each other like books to read. And, you know, it had been a while since I had really dedicated, like given time to reading. And um, that's been really nice. Apart from that, really n nothing super, like we walk our dog, Joey, and that's like our favorite part <laughs> of the day. Um, the best. Yeah, at home workouts with my sister. And I look forward to every night, the dinner that she makes for us. Like, it's been nice. We have lived oh, so together every night. <laughs> oh, she's an incredible cook. Like, incredible. And I feel like she's mastered it even more so since we've been in quarantine. But, you know, before we never had, like, family dinner every night because our schedules Aww. were different. Now every night we sit yeah. down and we have dinner. So it's been nice. It is nice. You're right. Like, something about having intentional time to do all these things. Yeah. Maybe you can always put a top priority, but... Like it really puts things into perspective, I found. It does, um, it, it absolutely does. Mm -hmm. And now you also celebrated a birthday, right? I did, last I did. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank what you. What did you guys do for, for your special day? You know, it was actually, you know, it was such a special day in the midst of this all. I think we've all realized what really matters in life and that's nothing except for 
being with our family and our loved ones and being loved um, is, is such a beautiful thing to feel that. And, you know, my sister made the day so special. And, you know, I had said all week that me and my mom, our birthdays are two days apart. And we were like, we're going to celebrate when this is over. We'll postpone our birthdays because it feels weird to celebrate right now. But my sister mm -hmm. made our day so special. She woke me up at midnight. I like apples. So she woke me up with an apple with a candle on it, singing happy birthday. <laughs> Then when I woke up the next morning, the house was filled with balloons and filled with flowers. And Aww. she somehow like po like got ordered like through online my favorite snacks that were all set out on our table. And since I can't cook, Aww. she made like a special birthday menu where she was like, I can fill in whatever I would want to eat all day, and she would make it. And um, it was just what really was your special. like favorite favorite meal from the birthday day? Well, she made banana bread cake. Oh which was incredible oh and she gosh. also made i know i'm so we need that recipe me. honestly oh yeah bow we need your banana recipe your banana please recipe. <laughs> um and then she made for dinner uh she bought something called a dutch oven which i don't know what Ooh. that is but it's an incredible thing <laughs> you know what that makes that. really good chicken so okay. she made this chicken yeah. with like oh doll come here yeah she's here Hi! We're talking about how special you made my birthday. Hi. And that they need this your banana so cake recipe. Okay. And, we need the banana and bread. Mm -hmm. What was the kitchen, the chicken that you cooked for me for my birthday? Oh, was... she, I got a Dutch oven. So... <laughs> I'm a terrible cook also. I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. So I made her, I'll send the recipe. It's just like a uh, lemon garlic chicken with, Dutch, onions. with onions in the Dutch oven. It was just Ooh, so just... yummy. I love it. Was it. Good. it was good. It was, it was good. delicious. Oh, okay. Man. okay. That's exciting. Oh, uh, little there? sister cameo. Joey! Wait, do you want a Joey cameo? Wait, we obviously need Joey in here. We're getting the whole fam. Oh, oh, this is special. <gasps> he looks like a stuffed animal. Are you kidding? He's a stuffed animal. He's not real. Joey, he's okay. he, he looks like he's a snuggler, is he? He's such a snuggler. Look oh at him. Oh my god. You know, my roommates and I thought about fostering a pet. We were like, we need yeah. to. We've reached out, but it's so many pets were already been fostered. I was like, okay, well, that makes great, me happy. Then. That's it's great. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's so amazing. we're going to have to do it again and see if we can get some love. Nothing yeah, like having an animal though during this time. Oh, it's been, it's a, it's a blessing for, for sure. Aw. Now, I found for me one thing that's really been helping since I don't have a Joey to snuggle with is I find myself on social media a lot because I feel like that's a way yeah. to stay connected. And, connected. Uh, but on, on the adverse of that, I also find it also sometimes makes me feel overwhelmed and anxious. And yeah. so I'm curious for you, what's during this time, what's your relationship with social media like? How are you sort of navigating that back and forth? Um, to be honest, I feel the exact same way as you. Although I feel personally, social media, since we've been in quarantine and since the pandemic, has been filled with so much more hope than the contrary. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it does give us this feeling of peace and connection that we literally, no matter where you are in the world, uh, where you come from, what language you speak, the color of your skin, every single one of us is going through the same thing and feeling the same thing and feeling scared. Yeah. And I think that has given us a lot of, I feel like it's the greatest equalizer we've ever known and, and mm -hmm. such, I think, of the deepest connection we've ever had. Mm -hmm. um, but I do find that I find myself maybe on weekends, on Sunday or Saturday, I won't really be on my phone just because I feel like we're on our phones all the time now. All the time. So my I screen time is outrageous. Yeah. So I think instinctually, <laughs> I just kind of put it away just to, because you're right. Because then we also see the news through there and it's good uh, to yeah. just take a break for a second. So if you can do that, I think that's, that's good. Right, Joey? And then we'll just cuddle <laughs> with Joey. And then take some joy time. Yeah. And, you know, actually, I've been doing the same thing where I'm trying to treat it like during the week, I can be on it as much as I want or try yeah. and limit it. But the weekend, I really take some time. But I've yeah. also found for me that if I can light a candle and then maybe like yeah. make a latte or something, it's really calming. And then I, I normally listen to like my favorite albums from start to finish. Yeah. Um, and that's when something's helpful for me. So I'm what curious for you. Now? I go through the John Mayer ones. I always listen to Casey Musgraves. Oh, I think I haven't I, heard since I've been here. That's a good one. That's a good one for quarantine. I was going to ask you, do you have what's your quarantine album or songs that you're it's listening to been, right now? 
this morning I performed on Good Morning America this morning. So I was, was up really early. It was amazing. It was so special. I performed literally from my living room, a song that oh is so close to my heart. And it's it's a song called Someday and it's all about mm. you know, one of the lyrics is on days when the sun is gone, hope lives on. It just felt like a perfect song for right now. Okay, Joey, yes, I'll put you down. <laughs> but anyways, I was up, Joey's like, I gotta I was go. up at like 2.45. Oh, it's 11.11 over here. Make a wish. <gasps> yes. I hope you guys all make a wish, wish too in the comments. Yes, yeah, so everybody make a wish. Um, <laughs> so it was up really early. So I'm, I started listening to her. I really love her. And she has a song called Sometimes that mm. I just mm. had on repeat this morning as I was getting ready and like warming up for the performance. But I've also been really into like Dua Lipa, like when my sister and I do our at-home workouts, really love Dua Lipa, really yeah. love Phineas, uh, really into Phineas. Ooh, that's good. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Billie Eilish also, her last album is still one of my favorites because it's just so mellow. Um, but yeah, there's such good music out there. It's so beautiful to be a part of an industry that has meant so much to so many people right now. And I mean, I Love You is still such a jam. Thank you. And it honestly, wait, it has 20 million streams to date, which is insane. What? <laughs> That's crazy. And so I've, I've also been on TikTok, which I love. And so there's an I Love You TikTok challenge. There is, there's a challenge, which is crazy. Like the first week of quarantine or the next day, I saw these videos pop up called the I Love You Challenge. And now they're all over the world every day. There's hundreds of them. They have millions of views and it's people from, um, I saw some in Morocco, Egypt, Brazil, Tokyo, Mexico, New York, everyone doing this challenge and they're just dancing and, and having a moment of like happiness and hope and challenging each other. And it's so cool to see how my song or my music has been able to connect people in this time. It's such a privilege. Has there been one video out of all of them? I mean, amazing, it's on a global level. There's Has there been one video that stuck with you? Are there all just two? There are to so many. I mean, I saw one recently that was, I think, maybe in Russia or Bulgaria. And it was a girl out on, like, she was outside, obviously far away from people, but she was outside on this beautiful plaza. And she was just this incredible dancer dancing to I Love You. And the first one too, the first video that ever happened was this incredible dancer based in LA who just had the sickest core. I was like, this is so cool. But then also, I also love the ones that are like, of fans that I've known for years, you know, that have been following me from the very beginning and they do like the TikTok version of the choreo and I oh, love seeing so everyone make their own spin on it. Like, it's so cute. I'm like trying to learn the moves from them because <laughs> TikTok is like a whole new animal for me. But it really, really is though. <laughs> yeah. No, you have fans over the world and you have a ton of fans in the comments now, but we also have some fans that wrote in for some questions. So before I let awesome. you go, I thought we could do a couple fan questions that would be fun. Yes, please. All right, so first one is, are, during this time in quarantine, are you working on new music? I am. Well, right up until I, we went into quarantine, I was in the studio um, working on music that I'm really excited for you guys to hear. And I have a big, uh, you know, big plan to release a lot of music this year. I don't want to give too much away, but while we've been in quarantine, I guess we're working on production and post-production and kind of finishing up those records. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I Love You felt like the perfect song to kind of introduce this next stage of um, my music for the world. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, as you grow up in the industry, as you grow as a person, your music grows with you. And this is kind of who mm -hmm. I am right now. And I'm really excited to share that with everyone. Wow, I can't wait to see that reflection of who you are in this new music. That's going to be so exciting wait. for us. Um, all right, our second fan question is, how do you remember all your lines and actions in <laughs> films? Do you have a technique that you that you go by? That's a good question. To be honest, I think the more you do it, the easier it gets. Um, lines, I, I think maybe I got lucky. I was always pretty good at memorizing stuff in school. I was always kind of a nerd too so maybe my nerd memory has come in handy when it comes to memorizing lines um but i don't know it's it's something that you can't really, an actor would probably agree with this that something just kind of clicks when you when you get into the character and you learn the lines it bec becomes kind of more natural especially the longer you play a character like mm -hmm. in the beginning sort of, of get, the, get it more yeah, and you sort of feel you it kind out of learn her you learn her brain and how she would say things so it, it just becomes easier and easier every time and you kind of know the actions that she would do or that would come naturally to her 
Yeah, that's interesting. That makes sense. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. But I guess you're also growing with this character that totally, you have a better totally. idea of what she's going to do, how she's going to speak. Yeah. That's interesting. Absolutely. That's a good Thank question, you. guys. Yeah, great um, question. All right, our last one. And I love this okay. one because I'm actually dying to know this too. Okay. Um, one of your fans said, you have flawless skin. What's your oh, skincare routine? Thank you. Which you are always glowing. So I'm thank dying you. to know Thank you. As are you. As are you. Um... <laughs> To be honest, I guess quarantine has been great because it's been a lot of very little makeup or days without mm -hmm. makeup at all. Um, I know my sister just left, so Joey's crying. She'll come back. Joey. Um, I, one of my biggest secrets or with things that I do religiously every morning is I wash my face with really cold water. And at night, too, mm. my mom taught that to me and my sister. Oh, and really? recently, in the last movie that I shot, I started when I, you know, when you shoot a movie, you start really early and your face is kind of puffy. Like if you're on call at 5 a.m. or 4.30. So I would roll an ice cube on my face um, in a napkin and it would just de-puff everything and just wake oh, everything up. And I don't know, it does something to the pores that is great. And recently I bought like this cold roller. So I keep it in the fridge and I roll it on my face. Um, so that to me is, um, is like my, my little, I don't know, my everyday trick. But, and See, sunblock, to be honest, I stay away from the sun quite a lot. Really? So you're like SPF always? SPF, but I don't get any sun whatsoever, really. Wow, that's great. Yeah. I love the ice cube trick. I'm gonna have to try that. It's really, it feels really nice. Put it with a paper napkin so that you don't, so it's so not like so cold. cold. <laughs> but it's, I really like it. It just wakes everything up and just like, everything just kind of gets tight, if that makes sense. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. totally. Oh, yeah. good. All right, well, we got some tips from Sophia. Yeah. And it's so nice to see you again. Thank, Thank you. you so, so good to see you. Here. I'm of course, stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you back in New York or you in LA very soon. When this is all over. Very soon in real life. I can't wait for yes. that. Sending my love. <laughs> Thanks, Bye. Sophia. We'll see you soon. All right, guys. How much you love Sophia Carson? Because she's one of my favorites and is generally one of the nicest people that I've met. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stream I Love You, her song with Rehab. It's so good. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys next time for our next IG Live interview. Thank you guys again. I hope you're all staying happy and safe and healthy. Um, for those tuning in, my name is Emily Curl, the digital host at iHeartRadio. And I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye, guys.